Welcome back to the Enough is Enough podcast. Today's topic, your divorce is a spiritual battle. Satan tried to destroy you in your marriage to the narc. No question about that. Now he'll try to destroy you in the divorce. We're not allowing it. Not here at davidclarkphd.com. Now, Escaping Your Narcissist is the book for you. That'll get you through the divorce. By clinging to God and relying on God's power, you will not be destroyed. You will overcome. You will get through. You will be free. At the end of this video, I have some helpful resources for you to survive this divorce. All right, your divorce is a spiritual battle. Now, you need the human warriors in your army. I've covered that in a previous podcast. No question about that. But your most important warrior is a supernatural one, and that's God himself. You won't survive this divorce without God. On your own, even with your human warriors, you will be crushed, devastated, and broken. It will be hard enough with God and with your human warriors. Listen to this promise from God. Because he loves me, he says in Psalm 91, 14 through 15, because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. We're gonna stand on that promise. And that applies to your divorce. Have a daily personal quiet time with God. Read the Bible, just a few verses are necessary and meditate on it. God's word will empower you, comfort you, energize you and give you hope. In your personal quiet time, pray. Here's how I want you to pray. Here's some specific prayers you can offer up to God. Pray that God will give you righteous anger at the narc because that's gonna energize you, give you emotional detachment from the narc, give you peace, protect you against the attacks of the devil and his buddy, the narc, give you healthy relationships with your children through the divorce process, give your children protection and strength, give you a job if you need one, give you the money you need, give you human warriors that will that will be on your team and, and, and give you perseverance and commitment to commitment to change and give you legal success. Certainly pray for legal success and for God to thwart the narc. Pray with honesty and directness to God. It's normal and healthy to wrestle with God and question him during the divorce. Don't worry about doing that. Everybody does. Follow David's example in sharing your raw emotions with God. Read Psalm 13 and 43 and you'll see David just pouring out his heart. Pray that God will deal harshly with the narc. There was no problem with a prayer like that. David prayed for God to shame, confuse, and disgrace his enemies. Well, the narc's your enemy. In Psalm 40, 14, that's what David prays. David prayed that God would destroy his enemies. Psalm 54, 5. Those are good prayers. Pray that God will thwart the narc's efforts to harm you and your children. Pray that God will make him pay dearly for his abuse of you and your kids. Now, there will be times when you won't know what to pray. That happens to all of us when you're in crisis and the divorce is a crisis and it's a trauma. That's normal. The Bible teaches us in Romans 8, 26, that in extreme circumstances, the Holy Spirit will pray for us. One of my YouTube subscribers who was in the middle of a divorce with a narc sent me this email message. She says, Dave, I poured my heart out in prayer, sometimes screaming, often crying, sometimes groaning because no words would come. That is healthy. This is a spiritual battle. Satan will attack you with everything he has in his arsenal. Ephesians 6, 12 makes this clear. Just like the narc, he wants to destroy you. Satan will do all he can through the narc and his own lies to harm you. In John 8, 44, we're told, Satan is a liar and the father of lies. He is a better liar than even the narc. Be prepared for his lies and respond out loud assertively. Now, here are some lies of Satan and responses you can shove down his throat. And if you're alone and these and these lies come into your head by Satan, you can say, say these things out loud. If you're, of course, people are around, you can do it silently in your head. Satan says, you are sinning by divorcing your spouse. He wants you to believe that. Well, it's a complete lie. Your, your response is, no, I'm not. Read 1 Corinthians uh, uh, 7.15, Satan. Satan says, your mistakes harmed the marriage. Your response is, okay, partly true. My first mistake was marrying this dirt ball. I also tolerated his abuse for far too long. But my mistakes didn't destroy the marriage. His did. Satan will say, you won't make it financially. Oh, he wants to, to frighten you to death. Your response is, yes, I will. I won't be rich, but God will see to it that I have enough money. It's exactly what the Bible teaches. Oh, here's a good one. Satan will say this any number of ways. You will lose custody of your children because you're divorcing the narc. 
Your response is, no, I won't. I won't get 100% custody, but I, will, I won't get 0% either. And I'm far better off, and my kids are, by divorcing. Satan will also say, because he loves to use the children against, especially moms, your children will turn against you forever. Not just temporarily, but forever, he'll say to you. Well, that's a lie. Your response is temporarily maybe, but not forever. By divorcing the narc, I have a good chance to have healthy relationships with my children, something I can never have if I stay. I want you to choose one key Bible passage that speaks to you on a personal level. Focus on this passage throughout the divorce. Memorize it, post it on your refrigerator, on the bathroom mirror, and on the dashboard of your car. Just keep it in your mind. Here are some passages phone advice clients of mine and YouTube subscribers have used during their divorces. Psalm 23, 4. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, and that's pretty close to what's happening in the divorce, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Joshua 1, 9 is a classic. Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Ezekiel 34, 16. I will search for the lost and bring back the strays. I will bind up the injured and strengthen the weak. But the sleek and the strong I will destroy. That's the narc. The sleek and the strong I will destroy. I will shepherd the flock with justice. Lamentations 3, 22 through 23. Listen to this. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed. For his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Matthew eleven twenty eight. Another good one. This is Jesus, of course, talking. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Philippians 4, 13. Another great one. I can do everything through him who gives me strength. The him is Jesus Christ. Romans eight thirty seven. Know in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Now get my book, Escaping Your Narcissist. I wrote it for the divorce process. Not many Christian counselors want to talk about divorce. I do. I recommend it if you're married to a narc monster, and I'm going to tell you how to get through it. Escaping Your Narcissist. Subscribe to this podcast and to my YouTube channel. Give us more strength and more more power with the Lord's help to change people's lives and get them free of narcs. And look for my new ebook. It releases September 18, 2023. Stop, it's called Stop Feeling Guilty for Your Divorce. Beat Satan, beat shame, and live in God's grace and freedom.